Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is our class is studying water towers. So today we're actually moving away from robotics and still focusing on engineering, but we're looking at creating water towers that will support a water bottle. You're going to have to see this. So it doesn't really matter where you might put this in your year as far as in your curriculum. It, there really isn't a bad spot to put it. Um, our class decided we we're going to study water towers. So we studied the ins and outs of the benefits, the disadvantages, and then we, at the culminating activity here, I gave my students, so here are the rules, I gave my students, and I broke them up into teams of two, I gave them 12 sheets of paper and a foot of tape, painter's tape, whatever you want to use, whatever is beneficial for your resources, and they had 20 minutes to create and you can, you know, change the time however you feel, you know, needed. They had uh, 20 minutes to create a water tower. And here was their goal. Their goal was that their water bottle would be facing down. So the cap would be at the bottom here. And they're trying to build the highest water tower because when we studied water towers, they learned that the higher it is, the more pressure you're going to get. So the goal was to build this tower as high as they could get it. And then when I would measure the, the tower, I would measure it at the top of where the, the bottom of the bottle would be. So the competition was who could build the highest water tower, but your water tower also had to stand up. Like, you know, you had to move away and you have three seconds, one, two, three. And if your tower could stay for three seconds, then you were eligible to now win the tallest water tower. So go ahead and check out the video that I took of my students basically working on their towers.
Hold on, if it doesn't stand up, we're not measuring it. Okay, so we're gonna pass that one. All right, wait, wait. Who's is this Caleb? Okay. If Caleb can get it to stand up. So we're gonna measure. No, 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 no. Leave it in. We're gonna measure this one. These are water bottles as big as the project. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, Evan, yeah. Evan, put it back up. Get it to balance, and then Joel will measure it. Evan, you can. Now it's not standing. Yeah. Okay, Joel will measure it. And we got exactly 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. All right, Evan. Joel, Joel, where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> No, no, Joel, hold it straight. No, no, no. Okay. 18 and a quarter. Hold it straight. No, we got 18 and three quarters. If you can get to balance, you're good. Get in here and measure this one. That's we're at we're at exactly 16. Nice, Chris. <laughs> the magic pagoda is dead. All right, we're here at Sunny's. So it was a really, really fun project. Um, as you can see from the video, some of my students overthought it. After the whole thing was over, they were like, why didn't we just you know, do cylinder type things? And some of them had tried to make these complex um, you know, structures. And in engineering, sometimes they learn that they, you can overthink something to make it more complicated. So it's all in good fun. You know, they definitely learned uh, what to do, what not to do, what works. And so it was just a fun day of seeing um, how they could put their creativeness together, use what they know about water towers and engineering to have a little fun with it. So hopefully you um, can take something away from that. Maybe you can tell me in the comments section what, what we can add, what can be improved, but all in all, it was great fun. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.